Hello, and welcome to our DogBiz Pro Help video series. In this video, we will be explaining how to create a new client account from the client registration portal. If you are a client of a dog trainer and you are attempting to create an account and register for a service, you would just want to do the following. To start, you would just want to navigate to your client registration portal page. The company you are registering through should be providing a link to their specific registration portal. Once you are inside of that client registration portal page, you should be able to see all their upcoming services showing inside of the various services tabs. So inside of the classes tab, it would be showing upcoming classes. Inside the events tab, it would be showing upcoming events, etc. In order to actually register for one of these available services, you would need to have a client account created. If you already have a client account, you can click on the login button in order to be taken to the login page. From the login page, you could enter in your associated email address and password in order to actually log into that client account. If you do not yet have a client account created and you wanted to create one, you could click on the Create an Account button in order to set up and create a new client account. After you would click the Create an Account button, you should be brought to a new page asking you to enter in your email address to begin the registration process. As a reminder, the email address that you would be entering inside of this location is what you would use in order to actually log in. So you want to make sure you actually have access to the email that you're entering inside of this location. So, for this example, let's say you want to enter in your email as something like test email at dogbizpro.com. You can go ahead and do that. Once you are finished, you can click the Go button in order to be brought to your account creation page. From inside of this page, you'd be able to fill out our default registration form that's showing inside this basic information section. This default form will collect basic information that Dogbiz Pro uses in order to create a client account. So from inside of this section, you can enter in your first and last name, your street, city, zip, phone, etc. So we'll just finish filling out this form real quick. As long as you have all the required fields filled out, you should be able to move on into the next section. The company that you're registering for has created a custom sign-up form their custom client form would be showing right inside of this location as well. So you would just want to scroll down and you should be able to see that custom form showing. So you would just want to fill out any required fields inside of this custom form section in order to continue through the registration process. So for this example, we'll just populate that custom form with just some test responses. After you have filled out the custom signup form, the next section you should be able to see is the family information section. If you wanted to add a family member to show inside of this account, you could add that family member here. So again, if you wanted to enter in any additional family members, you could do that inside the family information section. All you would have to do is just add the, the name, their age, their gender, the type of family member that you're adding, and then their relationship. So we'll just choose son as an example. Now, with this family member set up, if I was to create this client account, this additional family member would be showing attached to my client account inside of the family members tab. Lastly, if the company has email marketing set up, you could scroll down and see a mailing list section showing inside of this page as well. From inside of this mailing list section, you'd be able to see all their available mailing lists that they currently have created. If you wanted to sign up for one of their mailing lists in order to receive newsletters, reminders, etc., you would just want to put a checkbox next to the list that you're interested in. So again, by checking the appropriate checkboxes inside of the section, that would allow you to control which email lists you're signing up for. Once you're finished, you can click the register button in order to actually create that client account. Once you have created your client account, by default, it should take you to the dog page where you can set up and create your new dog. From inside of this page, you can enter in the dog's name, their gender, their age, their primary breed, any allergies that they have, etc. If the company is allowing it, you are also able to add in your vaccines for this dog right at this stage as well. If you scroll down to the vaccine information section, you'd be able to enter in when your vaccine was given and when that vaccine was expired. So again, if you actually wanted to set up vaccine information, you would just want to click on the given text box and you should be able to choose a date and the same with the expires as well. 
Now, if I was to create this dog account at this stage, it would be showing that the dog was given a rabies vaccination on 7-1-2017 and that it expires on 7-1-2018. Just like the client page, this dog page will also show an additional sign-up form if the company has one attached. In order to continue through the registration for this dog, you'd need to fill out all the required fields inside of this custom form section. You'll notice that this particular custom form doesn't have any required fields showing, but you can still fill out those fields if you wanted to. So we'll just add that information to that field just to show you what it would look like. Once you're finished filling out all the dog information inside of this page, you can click the Save button in order to actually create your new dog. If you have a dog and client account created, you should be able to register for an available service right from the client registration portal. So again, you'll notice it shows me that actually logged in now. So if I was to click on this classes tab, I could actually sign up for a particular class and actually go through that registration process because I've actually created an account. Hopefully that helps and explains how to create a new client account right from the client registration portal.